Hello, everybody. We are live again tonight with some more UFO Cryo Chills coolant. Uh, we got some opaque, um, what is it, alien green? Yes, alien green UV Cryo Chills coolant. So, pretty interesting stuff. Um, I was told by Daniel himself that he would be here tonight to answer some questions for y'all, but it appears he has not shown up yet, sadly. Carlos, what's up? And everybody else in Discord, how's it going? We're all hanging out in Discord, guys, so if you want, join the PPC's Discord server and chill with us too. But uh, let's see. If anybody's got any questions about the coolant, this stuff is crazy intense color. Can't wait to see it in the loop. Yeah, so I actually even got some uh, Cable Mod UV LEDs that we'll use to uh, see how UV this stuff is. It is pretty UV, actually, though. I did already look myself. So... Uh, I don't have them in the case, but we'll use them. What's up, Mr. Nuke Dog? How are you? I'm, I'm not doing too bad. Oh, wait. It's Mr. Richard. That's nice. How's it going, Richard? Let's see. What, uh... Yes. Okay. So, we're good to go here, I think. I'll move the camera once we actually start filling. But, um... I did talk to Daniel a little bit today about this coolant. Not only that, but some of his upcoming stuff, because... This is actually just like a test sample. Like, yeah, it even says test sample. So you gotta take that into account, guys and girls. This is a test sample. And uh, I did just shake it up, but if you look at my gray, he's gonna, he changed the formulation a little bit. He actually said, wow, this separated into three equal, look at that. So there's like almost clear gray. There's uh, medium gray and then light gray. But uh, this is some other opaque stuff. I mean, it does have quite a bit of like particles in it. Now you can see it like swirling That's crazy in. Looking. Yeah, so like, you can see it swirl in now. But um, I guess apparently he took a lot of that white stuff, as he called it, out. I'm sure he's got a technical term for it, but um, I'm no chemist, so I didn't really bother to find out more. So this stuff is purely just a test sample, and. Half of me is saying that it's probably just going to fall out in this loop because it's kind of goofy and it has one of these reservoirs that really likes to make anything with too much particulate in it fall out pretty quickly. Not only that, but like these two runs in here that go to the front of the case are technically just stagnant unless I hook up an external radiator. So that's just another place where coolant can start to fall out because it's not going to be flowing very much at all. So we'll see how it lasts, I guess. Um, it looks really cool in the bottle, that's for sure. Uh, look at this, Mr. Nuke Dog. He's got a big old question. Do you make a backplate for thermal take Corex seventy one cases, like inside of the case, not to replace the plate that is there already, but to put an acrylic plate behind the motherboard and cover the whole wall? Yeah, I've. I mean, we can definitely cut that on the laser for you. I do that. Like, I just uh, do that to most builds I do because it kind of cleans up the build quite a bit. Uh, but definitely just email me or get on Discord and I'm trying to fix this camera. And uh, I can help you get the the, uh, the file or whatever the drawing to Jeremy in the mod shop, and then he can get that cut out for you. That shouldn't be too difficult as long as you can just take the measurements and kind of give me a sketch at least, and we can go from there though. So uh, just let me know. If you're not in our Discord, uh, Carlos, can you link Discord? in Twitch chat. So, what other questions do we have? Is the loop fixed now? It is actually, Richard. Um, so it was actually even incorrect still yesterday, but I, I totally fixed it. And I kind of finished these doors, so you can only see half the loop at, at a time. But uh, as you can see in there, maybe uh, not really from this angle. I can take this camera though. There's the back with those ball valves that I've actually now wired up to one switch. So technically if I flip this up, it will um, cut off the flow to the radiator, therefore letting me just plug in a radiator externally. So we leave that closed though, because we need to use that radiator. However, uh, other than that, it hasn't really changed much and it doesn't leak. It did have a leak today, but I fixed that. It was just loose fitting. So, I think we're good to go to like pour this stuff in. I could uh, take this camera here and perhaps 
place it gently on this nice motherboard and point it towards the coolant. How's that, people? Is that, now you have a cable in this one. Dang it. Now, oh. It's a good angle. Ah, uh, now it's two terrible angles. The camera fell over. Uh, oh, dear. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> How was that roller coaster ride, everybody? So we're going to shake this up good to make sure. And I guess another disclaimer that I'm going to add, and I actually did talk to Daniel about, and since this is just a test cool, we're kind of just throwing it out this loop, see what happens. So we'll just, you know, take what we get with a grain of salt and go from there. But there is actually probably, like, maybe even close to a quarter liter of uh, distilled water left in there. So... I kind of, I mean, one, it's really hard to completely empty this rig, and two, I just felt like it's probably more of a realistic test, purely because I feel like there's a lot of other lazy people out there that are um, not going to completely empty their rig either and just add the stuff to it. So let's just see what happens, and in any case, we'll at least find out what happens if you do stuff wrong. So I guess here goes nothing, boys and girls. This color does not match this loop at all, but we're going with it. <laughs> I mean, why not? Yeah, all right. <laughs> it's kind of—it looks like pineapple. It does actually. It's—it's it's really yellow, it's in my opinion. <laughs> it's very yellow, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. So that's mostly for. And it is in the tubes a little bit. So I gotta plug in the pump again, and then we're off to the races. How big are your reses? The reses, they hold uh, three quarters of a liter. So yeah, there was a little bit of water in there. You can see it mixing in now. Maybe you can see it. Yeah, it's like, it's even worse on camera. It's not that, it's more green yellow now. Yeah, it's not uh... It looked pretty clear at first. Oh yeah, at first it was definitely clear because uh, the distilled water was mixing in from the... There was a little bit left in the block and there was definitely some still in the rad. It's just an interesting color. Yeah, it is a very interesting color. I'll show you the reservoir in a second. I'm filling it up a little bit more. It's de It definitely doesn't match this at all, but... <laughs> I, I kind of like the color though. It's it's interesting. <laughs> That's what I'll say. It's almost like a banana color. It's got a green tint to it. So it's ripe banana. Ripe banana. But see, see, this is what I'm worried about right here. Is because this line never sees any flow until you connect the quick desk disconnect up, and there's a line right on the other side the same way. And I bet if anything, we're gonna see fallout in there. So we'll see. Uh, so now we can test out the UV lights. We can see how that works out. Yeah, UV. UV. So I've got, maybe we'll just connect up this long strip. Actually, the short strip <laughs> will stay together a little bit better. So we need to find the SATA power here. And then I was just going to put this strip around just because I couldn't exactly like put it in one place and We'll see how UV it is in the tubes compared to the reservoir and whatnot. And this is the cable mod switch strip, right? Yeah, cable mod, hybrid, wide beam, UV, RGB, all that good stuff. All the things. Where is this piece? Yeah. So. Plug it in the right way? Yeah. Okay, so I don't think the UV's on right now. Or it is. And I think we're gonna wanna turn off some lights. At least that light. Um, so, turn that off. Okay, UV is on. Okay, so I think we'll turn off this light too. There we go. Dang, that's actually really cool. Okay, so there's in there in the tubes. That looks pretty cool. My name is still catching up. Shh. 
<laughs> it's cool, trust me. Here. <laughs> oh, thanks. Oh, yeah. that is really bright. It's really bright. So That is really bright. Let me check it out in here. It's it's actually now it's like alien green. Like in the bottle just sitting right there, that's still really yellow. But if you look over here, it's like I guess on camera now that I'm looking at it, it's way more uh green or yellow. But in like me sitting here it is definitely very uh, lime greenish, or alien green, I guess, as he calls it. So you can see it in the tubes there, too. Oh, I like it. It's not that yellow. Like, it's kind of weird. Like, yeah. I don't know why it's so yellow on camera. Because it's actually not that yellow. The color settings. Richard should be in here yelling at me about my color settings. <laughs> <laughs> because <laughs> he usually is but now that we got it in here I figure we could do the trivia question for uh, your fucking color settings <laughs> <laughs> there he is. I did um, I, Richard I have used that camera thing though to adjust the stuff that camera utility you told me to get yeah yeah it works good yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it's really easy. Uh, Clearly, I uh, don't know how to use it, though, huh? Oh, well, you have to, like, mess around with settings, get the right saturation, and get some good light. Yeah, like, it, you, it is in, like, broad, like, daylight, like, when I have all the lights on, but as soon as I turn the lights off, the colors get even worse. Yeah. So, yeah. it doesn't actually glow that much doing that in the reservoir. That's kind of lame. The only one, yeah, it really glows if you have this strip above it. But we can do the trivia question, boys and girls. It will be for half off a bottle of UFO Cryo Chills Technologies coolant. So uh, it'll be like a coupon, basically. And I guess I gotta mute myself in Discord because otherwise you guys get to cheat. And we don't like cheaters around here. So cheaters be gone. And I'm doing trivia now. <laughs> So, the trivia question is, how many, oh yeah, and, and to win, oh look at that, Hank's here. But to win, you have to answer in one of the chats, whichever chat you're in, YouTube, Dis or not Discord, um, Facebook, or Twitch, and with the correct answer, the first one to do it wins half off a bottle of coolant, of crowd chills coolant. 42, <laughs> no, you didn't win, not yet at least. So, the question is, how many premixed coolants does PBCs carry? Ready, set, go. So, now that I've said it, wait, we won't, we won't let the Discord people give you guys any hints. It shouldn't be too difficult for you guys. But while we're waiting, and while you guys are counting, how, or, does anybody have any actual uh, questions about the coolant? We got Spencer up here in Facebook saying 67. You're a funny guy. Carlos, it is not 10. Spencer was close. I mean, kind of technically, you could argue he's right, but I think if he wants to, he can just guess again. <laughs> Richard! And then Damon actually was right behind him, but technically it was Richard first. It is 68, and I guess, like I said, you could... Kyle, oh, shut up, it is not 70. So, um, I get why Spencer said 67, because we have the one option that is, uh, you do a custom color, but I figure that's still an option, I guess. I, maybe I should have said how many premix coolant options we have. I'm sorry if that was confusing. Carlos, you're ter you're just all over the place, but sadly I have to give it to Richard because the correct answer was supposed to be 68. So, oh, Mr. Richard. Yay, yay for bloody website. <laughs> exactly, I figured it would at least make you guys go and look at stuff. Uh, so, Richard, let me know when you need half off a bottle of cryo chills, my friend. Oh, right, okay. Can I give you guys your friend? I'm coaching friends with it while shipping is out. Yeah, you can. I'll take it. I'll take it. <laughs> Carlos, you're a terrible person. According to the bloody website. 
cutters, do you actually need it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Spencer said he actually just straight up guessed. No, dude, you were super close. We know it's not 69 if Matt is involved. Thanks, Hank. I appreciate it. You're the one You're the one that decides what coolants we carry, though, so that was all on you, buddy. I had no say in any of this. One day we just had cryo chills. And we were supposed to have Daniel here tonight, and he was going to talk to us some more about this coolant. and Because uh, he's actually got some rad cleaner and I think system cleaner as well coming. He's uh, sending that to me, I believe, this week. So hopefully by next week we will have that in and I can like clean a rad for you guys. And if the stuff fails by that time, we can use this cleaner to clean it. Uh, so we'll have that as well as he said, a thermal paste actually, which is kind of interesting. So we'll also have a thermal paste to try out at some point. I should be getting the CPU. I talked to Matt today and well, at least have the CPU and RAM uh, maybe next week or something like that too. So we could potentially also test out his thermal paste. Uh, what else do we have coming up? Brutal. I wish I could order it, but it's damn far. Richard, it's your fault for living so damn far away. So, I, I, I move closer. yeah, live closer, be better. Yeah, yeah. Just, like, just move over to Florida, so join me and Matt over here. Maybe in a couple of years. <laughs> so... We have, um, like I said, a bunch more cool and stuff coming up, but also uh, Hank sent me his old laptop, so we're actually going to be using that to move the whole entire stream setup out into the workshop. So hopefully on Thursday, the next stream, um, we will be out in the workshop, so that'll be exciting. A lot better accommodations than like this cramped bedroom of mine. So I'm pretty pumped to have you guys out in the workshop with me and actually do some proper streaming. So once we get that out there, then hopefully we can get this bench finished up uh, as well and have more fun with that. We can test some radiators soon. But who has some questions about the coolant? Because this is interesting to me. Like I said, I wanna, I do wanna try this gray. So actually, I don't know, depending on how this stuff does, because this gray also has a lot of the particulate, but depending on how this stuff does, I might put this in my actual PC. I don't know yet, but uh, once I do actually get moved out there into the workshop, I will be taking apart my loop. Uh, I haven't cleaned that monoblock in over a year, so that'll be interesting to see. Uh, I think this week I'll be running a bunch of tests on it as far as temp-wise, so then we can have like before and after. $24.99. What's $24.99? Yes, coolant is, this stuff is $24.99. Well, actually the opaque isn't in stock yet. I think this week, if Hank's still around, he'd probably know the dates of when we're supposed to have the opaque stuff in but that's very soon so that's very soon if you got that coupon mr richard you'll have a bunch of options to use it on you could technically use it what what <laughs> oh you said 67 man yeah no, yeah I, this is that's right it, it was a legit, I just pulled a random ass number. Crowd. I was like, damn, dude, I feel bad because I feel like this guy got technical on me and he could technically be right right now. No, I... I <laughs> because we have 68, but one of them is like, create your own color or whatever, so... <laughs> it is what it is. My instincts are razor dumb. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, dude, you're very close. Alright, so one of my questions about this cool is how... how opaque... I mean, how uh, how reactive are they to light sources behind the fluid, typically? So, like UV behind it, stuff. or just yeah. straight light? I can do both tests right now. Like we can do it. Yeah. I like wanna... so, I did throw it behind the reservoir. So this is just UV, and I'll put it like inside the case here, so it's like right up against the reservoir, basically. And I think it's mostly for the fact that the reservoir is painted white, so this isn't the best test. But I'll put it up against the tubes next. Which would be more like in an actual clear reservoir. If I can get this strip to stay. Okay. Now I don't have a free hand for this. Okay. So there, like you can see it, like shining a little, like it glows a little bit. And here, if we change it to white, we can maybe, maybe it'll brighten up a little more. Yeah, like. You can see now, it. what is this UV reactive uh, cryo-chills opaque? Yeah, it's alien green, but it looks yellow on camera. And it's actually, nice. it's, it's 
it's pretty yellow, but it's it's, it's kind of green too. Pina colada than anything. Alien pina colada. So now go. we'll, if you want to check it out behind the or like through the tubes, like that would be more like a reservoir. Mm -hmm. So it's you can actually still see like the actual diodes through the tube there, but in a reservoir you'd have a lot more coolant. So I think you wouldn't see it as much if you put it on yeah. white. Really yeah, if you turn on white, it makes it just look yellow. <laughs> so, yeah. Do you know if they're doing uh, like white and with blue UV in it? Uh, I believe he was talking to me today about a white dye that is also going to be. It'll also have biocides and anti corrosion in it, so it's like a dye, um, and it's white, and it might be UV as well. But it's like you just add this white dye to your distilled water and it's everything you need just in a dye which i've never actually seen before here's like a better test i guess if you were to have the the bottle here this is the gray that i have it's like you can't yeah you can't see the light through at all like the bottle so it is pretty I opaque drink the fluid. no and that's and that's probably that's probably generally comparable to like a reservoir is, which is what i have yeah so, but this, like, uh, this stuff, both these test samples have, like, a lot of that white particulate in it. It's, like, what he uses to bind the color to the, the coolant itself. So, uh, he said that he, like, reworked the formulation or and actually, like, took a lot out. So, I'm thinking we'll see this stuff actually fall out in this loop. But the stuff that you guys will be buying is uh, actually different than this and supposedly much better. So, I'll have to get my hands on some of that, too. Like I said, I don't even know if I'll actually put this in a loop ever at all. Or I mean, we can always throw it in here and just see it get destroyed. But <laughs> yeah, it's always an option if you. <laughs> yeah, in coolant, it's kind of silent destruction. But I guess it's at least cool to see a opaque coolant go from opaque to clear in like a matter of days. Hey, Hey, and on the bright side, I'm a, I don't think any of us are going to make the mistake of having a, what was it, $180 worth of fittings go bad? Who did that? <laughs> That's <laughs> unreal. That is a lot of fittings. So, wow. Who else has that questions? Dude, that was the dude who was trying to, uh, he was trying to prop up Frozen CP in the group, and everybody was just like, All right, oh, back up. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Drink the fluid. Oh, Matt said that. Yeah. Oh, and Hank also said that think they're shipping partial this week, so I'd say mid next week on opaque. So we should have some opaque options within a week or so. A little over, maybe. Are those your strips, Matt? Yeah, they are. They're def Well, I mean, technically, they're Matt strips, as in me, Matt, but Matt did give them to me. So, yes, these are the wonderful cable mod UV hybrid RGB strips. I honestly don't think I'll ever use a different strip. Uh, maybe I'll try the RGBWs at some point, the RGB white, just because I'm not really that huge of a fan of UV. But I know that, like, all you guys are, so I definitely have to keep some around for that. Because how else would we test this goofy color UV coolant that Matt wants me to drink? I mean, it does look halfway as tempting to drink. And there is... Actually, Daniel, dude, you have, like, absolutely zero warning labels on this. If my nephew is around, I can promise you he would probably try to drink this. <laughs> like, dang. Uh, does that mean you're going to drink it? Um, no. Nope, definitely not. Go get some ice so you can have it on the ride. If it would make you feel any better, you could put your GoFundMe medical bills on the page, and I'm sure everybody would chip in. Dude, there's no way there'd be, like, that many medical bills. Worst case, Ontario, you just freaking go to the hospital and get your stomach pumped. <laughs> so. I would, I would donate one more bottle of fluid. What? That is not worth it. <laughs> no, that's like 25 bucks a flip, right? Yeah. I, Why would I need... I'm not even, like, planning to keep this stuff around that long anyways. Well, then... I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> don't, don't drink it, maybe? That's, that's the form I donate Dude, that would be so much to drink. Oh, my. That is... I, I oh, couldn't do that. Apparently, Kibble Mod Max says it's safe to drink, so... 
Did who said that? Ma I mean, Cable Mod Matt said that right now, but I want to know who Cable Mod Mod Matt heard that from. To be fair, most coolants are are safe to drink, but I wouldn't advise it because it's bitter as fuck and it's still not healthy. I mean, how does it even I, smell? I wouldn't say most coolants. I would say it actually Ultra DP is not one of those coolants. Oh, no, I, I take a nice big sip of my E6 anytime I'm having a rough night. It just kind of smells a little bit like a faint smell of plastic. <laughs> so I really don't know how great that would actually taste. Do it, do it. Do Hell no. It. Oh. <laughs> Daniel said it was safe to drink. It yeah, no, is. it's definitely unless but one of you guys gonna, wants I, to. I love, I love let's I see. I do need a GPU block. <laughs> so if anybody wants to donate a GPU block for a 980 Ti, uh, I'll drink that coolant. So let's go. <laughs> all right well mr uh justin i think it was already offered a bottle of coolant which is not that useful but i appreciate the offer <laughs> i do have one box for him but yeah not to do that dang it is reference actually yeah so any 980 ti reference box you guys can come up with preferably one that works though because that's just rude if you send me a paperweight I'm just, I'm just going to say, I'm going to say, just the backplate. Just the backplate. Wow, you're so useful. It, it already has a backplate on it. It looks nice. Yeah. Hey, Matt, one of the things I did and how I got these coolant blocks is I literally waited on eBay for somebody to put the cards up without the blocks on them and messaged them and said, hey, what are you doing with those blocks? And I got them for dirt cheap. No way. Nice. So that's what I should do, maybe. But I already I found... The Heat Killer 980 Ti that's blocks that's look so that's nice. Shipping. That's a really good deal. So, that stuff looks like it that's should do all right. I'm still really worried about this right here. <laughs> Absolutely. What? What is this? If I drink coolant, then I get a date with somebody's sister. That sounds like a lose-lose. To me, I mean, by gauging the internet and whose sister I have the potential to go on a date with, I say no. What? There you go. Or brother, whatever he fancies. <laughs> Richard says. Thanks, Richard. Thanks for your two cents, man. You're very useful. <laughs> no, but if anybody has any other questions besides can you drink it and how much is it, uh, I'd be happy to answer them about the... <laughs> we already been over this. Technically you can, but do you want to is the real question. Yeah, and I'm, I'm keep sure. coming yeah, back to no. We'll combine them. How much do you think a typical drinkable amount would be? Mm. I don't know, that glass is like close to 8 ounces. Is it, Maybe that's like, do you need like one yeah. serving of coolant a day? Time to math. Time to math. How much does a glass of coolant cost? So eight yeah, ounces out of like 32. I think these are 32 ounce bottles as far as yeah, they're U-line really bottles. Yeah, so 32 ounces. So you're taking a quarter of it. So it is roughly like $8. No, I mean like seven, Jesus. six, $6. $6, okay, and a $6. quarter. $6.25. Exactly. Yeah. If anyone wants to donate some DDR4 low-profile RAM, let me know. It's the only missing thing from my new case mod. What, are you going to drink the coolant then that you got half off on, Richard? Sorry, what? Are you going to drink the coolant you got half off on for uh, some low-pro low pro DDR4? Is that what I'm hearing? I was going gonna, to say, a friend of mine just like had me revamp his case, and he bought my 970s from me, but I think he used DDR3. I was, surprised at the fact, I was surprised that it didn't have any heat sinks on the RAM. I was like, oh wow. Sounds like a Tide Pod versus UFO alien green drinking off. <laughs> Tide Pod. Oh god. Cry up the chills. Alien Tide Pod. No. No. Please no. That'd be so nasty. Does this still look super yellow? Like, I mean, I'll have to just sit there and play with my colors because in the cup here, it looks pretty green. In here, okay. with the UV, but, it's green. 
That was, that reminds me of Blood in the Dark Green. But so. all of you have to admit, yeah. if somebody was able to come up with a coolant where it was like an opaque orange and a translucent blue that could be run together and would like stay separate, y'all would buy the shit out of that. Um, what? How would you ever do that? You would theme it, you would make a Goku themed pill. Oh my god. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is epic. Um, that is a really good. You'll have to talk to Daniel. See if he can make blue and orange, where you can still see the blue separate. I bet he can get like. I can think of. It's oh, like Daniel. um. Well, he could probably make an orange coolant with UV blue. Yeah, exactly, and like have like blue particles of like that mica that he uses, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. it'd be like sparkly yeah, blue. With peanut oil. Well, the blue mica doesn't really show up. It's almost white, so. True. It wouldn't yeah. really. Hey, well, so was Goku's hair in Ultra, Ultra Instinct, so there you go. Boom. We gotta figure Everything it out. Makes sense. All things come back to Dragon Ball. <laughs> of course, Ultra there's always Ultra. a way. Yeah. Well, shotgun half liter of beer, I don't drink beer. I'll even yell, America, fuck yeah, when done. Wow, Richard. That's quite the offer, because I feel like there's probably a large percentage of the American population that already do that without even being offered anything every day. <laughs> Jeez, Richard. You got to do better than that, buddy. So, I don't know, boys. It doesn't appear to be falling out yet, at least. Not yet. It's not... I really actually don't think it's going to be as bad as the the 3D coolant in these reservoirs, because the 3D coolant just does not last in these reservoirs. But uh, this is like a much finer particulate. Like I said, it's like that white, it's almost like a gel, it almost seems like, that helps bind the color to the coolant. So maybe it won't fall out at all, and we get lucky, and we don't actually have to get rid of this coolant. But we shall see in hey, some time. What's up? What's your question? On those tubes, how long is it from like the T to the end of the case where you got the quick disconnects? Okay, from this T right here, I like, turn the light back on. Uh, so the T right here, you mean? Uh, I suppose it's gonna be like a fifteen second delay. Yeah. <laughs> so that T is to the front of the case up here where it comes out. Uh, that is probably a good 18 inches, 16 inches, probably. Okay. It's a, it's a good, like, the case is pretty large overall, but these are only 240 mil rads, and then, like, you do have a little bit of extra space up here, however the, the reservoir sits right up there, and in the back there's, like, literally no extra space, especially with these damn ball valves. The magnetic ball valves that I have, uh, and the pump, and then we'll have a fan back here. So there's like no space there. There's a little extra oh, in the front, I, but uh, it's not I just want to. I got like maybe eight inches from my T's, you know, the length of my power supply, pretty much. Yeah. So I was wondering if I was going to have a problem with fallout on that. Oh, just because it, it like stays stagnant? Yeah. Um, I guess we're going to find out. <laughs> At least with this stuff. With the CryoChills 3D stuff, I would say almost definitely uh, you would see some fallout in there. Like some particles would build up in there, if not eventually all of it. However, even with that stuff, you could always just like shake it up and it would go back in the loop. So I'm betting this will do the same. Just like I showed you at the beginning, this bottle is like three different shades of gray. And I shook it up and it all mixes back in perfectly. So as long as you can yeah, shake. As long as you can shake your system enough, you'll never have a problem with cryo-chills coolant, ever. It's just, how big are your arms and how much does your case weigh? <laughs> so, <laughs> like, the case is a little bit giant there. <laughs> dude, yeah, I would not want to have to shake this damn case every day. There's just no way. I mean... Yeah. Well, I was wondering if almost you could put, like, because I got the ball valve like you do. I was wondering almost if you could put, like, a 3 inch barb loop in there just to... Uh, uh, Shake it up without even having to shake Oh, it. yeah, you could probably. Shake table. <laughs> Jesus. Um, yeah, you could probably try that. I was thinking about, like, somehow adding a drain off this somehow just so you could have another input or whatever. There's just not enough room at all 
inside there. Honestly, it, uh, it, honestly, you can honestly, just, with, I was gonna say, honestly, with the drains, I had an issue where all of my mica for my uh, cryo chills was ending up in the little space between the disconnect and the heat fitting. Oh, so that's yep. where all my mica was building up. See, and I wonder how this does because I actually don't have an actual drain in this. Because all I do is I take this tube with the other half of the quick disconnect and I just plug it in the front and there you got a drain. So I was actually using this earlier when I blitzed it. And uh, so I actually don't have a drain. This works well enough to get the whole top half of the loop uh, drained. You can pretty much get everything drained, including the pump, uh, just not the radiator. Because these ball valves that we have in here that are the magnetic ball valves that I wired up this switch, so I actually like, if I flip this switch right now, it actually, like, you can see the bubble go up right here. It cuts off all the flow to the radiator. So, if you don't have power to the system, like when you, when say you're tipping it and draining it, you're technically never going to be able to get the radiator empty because it's capped off. <laughs> so, that is one downfall to this design, is that it's nearly impossible to, to entirely drain it. Uh, however, I didn't really intend on making it for that purpose anyways. I more or less wanted to test rads and fans and whatever else I can come up with. So. Yeah, I'm, I mean, my fuse and everything obviously to be drains, but I don't have to try to do any of that. Should we make a cement mixer type reservoir so it can keep the fluid mixed? We <laughs> I'm killing ethylene con concoctions with my mix anyway, and it's safe. You could drink it, and you'd be like, this room was Daniel to me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Uh, but yeah, d Hank, we should definitely make a cement mixer reservoir. That would be revolutionary. I was just going to say. What would you do? Just like, rocks. I mean, you could just like hook it up to 12 volt power, or you could just get out like your impact wrench and just, you know, run it in <laughs> impeller every day. Shake it up real good. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll see how this all turns out. I have higher hopes for the opaque than I ever did the 3D stuff, just because I'm not a huge fan of the 3D stuff. Like Richard said, people also told me view would be fine. Uh, then you can have issues with whatever cooling you put in your loop, no matter what. Even the opaque stuff. Uh, so we'll just kind of have to take it day by day. If this stuff does terrible and I get new stuff from Daniel, we'll test that uh, as soon as we can. So we'll find out about the stuff that you guys will actually be buying. Like I said, this stuff is just a test sample, so we'll kind of take it with a grain of salt. Supposedly it's improved since then, and that's what's on, our, on its way to PVCs this week. So guys and girls, stop in the store and pick some up if you haven't already. No more questions. I mean, you can. What? Well, you can't. Well, you can stop in the store and pick it up. I, I, you can do exactly that. If you, but, I mean, it's not in the store yet, so how can you do that? Oh, if, got him. That, wow, okay. Semantics, he got me. It's not <laughs> technically a store. It's not technically a store. He's correct. Good one. But uh, other than that, guys and girls, you can always uh, email me at matt at performancepcs.com if you have questions about your coolant choices and the selection that we have. Uh, you can also get in touch with us if you want to get some UFO coolant uh, and it's in a custom color. So if you need something that we don't actually have, or at least of the Crowdchills coolants, and there's not a color that you see on our site that works for you, you can get a custom one actually done up. So that's actually been a pretty popular choice from what I found out today. So people are actually getting a lot of custom colors done. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, Dan said he was getting a lot of custom ambers being sent to him. Amber. Why is everyone so obsessed with amber? I'm, I'm actually kind of that obsessed with a lighter yellow. That must be why he uh, told me about, because he told me some other colors that he made up. He told me about Jason's. And then he also said, like, this kingpin copper color. And I was like, what the hell is that? Like, I mean, it's probably cool. It probably looks cool. It's interesting. But I just don't know of a theme yet. That I would put that in, <laughs> like copper colored cooling. That's that's new, I guess. It is what it is. Custom colors. It's actually, I believe, it's five dollars more. So it's twenty nine ninety nine for a bottle of custom color. 
And that probably ships directly from Daniel in New York, as far as I know. Uh, you obviously pay for everything through our site, but uh, I believe that one will come directly from Daniel. What? Because so many Amber Alerts? Jesus, Hank. Way to get dark on us now. Why do we have to talk about Amber Alerts? Wasn't the school shooting enough? Come on. Jesus. Wow. Why bring it up? <laughs> <Barely. laughs> It was just down the road from you guys, wasn't it, Carlos? Not the one in Maryland, obviously, but the Florida one. Matt's getting fired. Oh, of course. <laughs> yeah. He's the one talking about Amber Alerts. But uh, do we have any questions about the coolant options? Other, otherwise, guys, you can always find me in Discord, too. Uh, Carlos, did you ever link it? You did? Let's link it again. Oh, yeah, and the giveaway, boys and girls. I mean, besides the coolant that we gave away, or the half-off coolant we gave away tonight, uh, we have the 8700K and the Supremacy Evo giveaway going on, which is on our Facebook page and the Discord. Uh, it's actually just a Gleam link, so you'll find it there. And uh, get entered for that, and it'll be done Wednesday at 12 p.m. Eastern Time. So... That's like less than two days. No, it's just over two days. Less than three days. So we'll have that do this you week. Do have to be active to win that one or no? No, sir. You do not. All you will contact the winner, uh, and they'll probably give them like 24 hours to respond or something like that. Uh, that should be plenty, I would think. 24 or 48. We'll see how lenient I feel like being. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I will contact you probably by the email that you use to enter the giveaway. And we'll go from there. So whoever the lucky winner is of that, they will get a nice 8700K and a Supremacy Evo to uh, water cool it themselves. Not bad. Not bad. So it's all a favor and don't drink the juice. I'll try not to. I'll definitely try not to. Drink the juice. No. Drink all the juice. Take the blue or the red pill and drink the juice. So you guys are awful. Or you can take the Tide Pod. The Tide Pod also works. That's actually both colors. So I think for them. Is it now? Well, eh. Over here they're green and orange. Uh, and they're not even called Tide Pods. Is there any of the, uh... Come on, Carlos. Use your words. Oh, no. Use <laughs> your mouth. You can do it. <laughs> what was your question? No, you guys are so gullible. That was all an April Fool's joke. Are they actually still up there? Okay, well, oh boy. The April Fool's joke yeah, products. Uh, the $86,000 uh, cable. Sure. <laughs> yep, we got it all at PBCs, man. Incredible deals. Uh, yeah, the, the AT minus sat kind of power. Uh, Any other like retailer, that. that would be a $100,000 cable, but not PBC. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. <laughs> Yeah, dude. Use your discount. If it's your first time buying from us, you'll get like 11% off that. So like 8,600 some dollars. Like oh, man. God. nine grand probably you get. Wow. At that point, I'd be stupid not to <laughs> Exactly. What's up, Manuel Bracho? Never mind. Found it. What were we looking for? So is that New rule. <laughs> Winner must respond in Discord within four hours. Mr. NYC's up in here. All upset about the people joining Discord like and not talking. <laughs> so, we'll uh, get that done this week, Hank, though. What's your Hank does? Where did he say that? Facebook. That didn't come up for me yet. Oh, there. Why doesn't it scroll all the time? One day, can your mom come on stream and say hi? Why does everybody think I live with my parents? <laughs> what? Like, somebody posted or commented on my stream post last week, uh, something or other about it, and they said, isn't that, aren't you, isn't your roommate your parents or something like that? And I was like, uh, no. <laughs> Whatever. I, I don't think it, I don't think I live with my parents. Not, not certain, but pretty, pretty sure. Grandpa's boy. I would live with my grandma any day. I do. I have the Facebook. So I hear Matt. That's awful, dude. I, 
<laughs> yeah, like I said, that's got to be awful. I talk 100% more in the live stream on Facebook than I do on Discord. That's true. It's not for everybody. Like, Discord's nice, but uh, we have Facebook and the streams as well. So talk wherever you want. I'm trying to listen in everywhere. But uh, sometimes I miss your messages, I guess. That's why we're here. Yeah, I thought it's we true. Just like the peanut gallery, or like the real life Statler and Waldorf's all just heckling him while he does actual things. It is true. That That's kind of how it's working out. But uh, we'll see how that goes. Actually, in a month, I'll be down at uh, PPCs, and I'll actually have people. I think Jeremy's going to be on stream with me for that, and uh, we'll be modding some stuff. He's got. We're going to make a new custom reservoir at the end of the month, so that'll be cool. Ooh. More people to heckle you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We'll. I'll try to get in Discord there again, and uh, <laughs> Cap said he joined Discord voice chat while he was driving once. Did anybody talk to you? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. Otherwise, I really don't care for Discord all that much. Well, try just talking in general chat once in a while. It's fun, man. We're all here to hang out, but I see you on Facebook, too. So, boys and girls, I think we can wrap it up tonight. Do what? Oh, see, why doesn't, like, at the beginning of the stream, Facebook chat was automatically, like, scrolling down for me. Now I have to manually scroll down to see all this garbage that Hank has to talk about. Like, doing a stream on how to make your bed. <laughs> what? He, he's the one telling me, like, come on, Matt, come up with original content. And then he throws, make a bed out there for me. Thank you, Hank. But, uh... A computer modding stream that's pretty original i suppose i suppose there's probably a lot of computer modders out there that actually don't know how to make a bed and how your plate was backwards and I don't oh that's right cap like... you were in there that that was right the time that i wired everything wrong yeah yep so i guess uh, if nobody else has any other questions, like I said, we can wrap it up, but, uh, you all know where to find me if you have more questions and I'm not live on stream. So do that and have a great night, everybody. We'll be back Thursday at 5 p.m. Central Time, I believe from the shop out there, which will be awesome. Uh, what exactly we'll be doing, I will still let you know on, but at least it'll be in a new place and hopefully, like, a lot better setup. I won't be, like, sitting in a chair all awkward and whatnot and have to listen to Carlos. No, nah, actually, he'll probably still be here. He never goes away. But uh, <laughs> besides that, you all have a good night, and we'll see you then. Bye. <laughs> good night. Goodbye. <laughs> good night, Hank. Bye, Where, where's <laughs> other Matt? Heck yes, it would be. Make a PPC's logo custom res. I have done that. What do you mean? And look at this guy. He says he leaves and then still... I know. But, well, I just scrolled down and like, see, look at this. It keeps going now. Now I have to answer these guys because Ben James says he's from Australia and he bought some PPC stuff from us and shipping was fast and he's doing a build in the Spectre case from Singularity. That's pretty dope. Thank you for the support, Ben. I don't know how or why you picked PPCs when you're in Australia, but good choice. <laughs> We're a long ways away from you, though, man. <laughs> like across the world. He's but, like, oh, well, they're in Florida. It's like the silver medal of place with horrendous creatures that'll like kill you on sight. That's true, and hurricanes. And swamps. <laughs> yeah. Great stream. Thank you. It yeah, is, is I am. I had an out, but I was wrapping up all these people talking on Facebook because I can't automatically scroll anymore. Apparently. We will have a Spectre soon? Really, Hank? I hope they don't let you touch it. <laughs> oh, got him. I, I don't know. I, I don't want to see Hank water cool at PC, to be honest, even though he always talks a big game. <laughs> he's, he's getting a Spectre case? That's what Hank just said. Are we going to sell it or are we going to use it? No, no, no. Tell Hank that uh, a, a DVR build sponsored by PPC will tell you that. A DVR build sponsored by PPCs. Is what you need. So, do we do the build for you, or you do the build for yourself, but we pay for it all? I can do that for you guys. <laughs> Either way, you don't care. Daniel doesn't have stock of his own stuff. Yeah, that's true. 
firing okay. shot. It's going to be a popular opinion, but I'm looking at this Spectre. I don't like it. You don't like it? NYC, NYC got one. He's in the Discord with us, and uh, he got a Spectre case. I think it's in uh, I don't know if he has it yet. Uh, but he's going to be doing a build one soon. They look nice. Oh, darkness, yeah. I mean, the only thing that, like, I... I mean, I think it's a really cool case, but the only thing that I guess I wouldn't like about it is the fact that you kind of have to make the same loop every time because all the, you know, options are kind of pre-set up for you. But it is really not even tracking yet. Well, my issue is stuff Jeez, NYC. What? My issue with it is stuff can break. Oh, well, I mean, anything can break. But yeah, like Cap said. And look at how flimsy looking. I mean, I'm sure that I'm sure they're not flimsy, but like, look at how thin the feet of them are. And it's. Yeah. Uh, I, I think that's almost meant to be like a wall mount case. Also, yeah, I think that I mean, there is the option to wall mount it. That's true. I mean, uh, I don't know. Yeah. The Better whole watch it. <laughs> That's kind of the whole He'd be easy to break into. Now we're going to physical threats. I was like gonna challenge you to maybe a build off Hank, or even just a we could see who could actually bend a PTG tube, because you always talk a big game about that too. Wait, you're still streaming? Yeah, I am still streaming because you're people keep talking. <laughs> yep. Well I couldn't just shut it off right away. I scrolled down, saw like ten more messages. Like I have to here, I got it. I'm gonna unlock my scroll wheel and we'll just leave it scrolling. Okay, now now we got automatic scroll going. <laughs> but uh, I was heading off. You got a build off going on? I don't know. Me and Hank could do a stream on that when I visit in three weeks or so. See who can do the best bend. How about it, Hank? Let's go. Live stream it face to face. Put your money where your mouth is. Yeah. Big guy. Nothing sounds like a better use of time of a bunch of us watching two adult men do a bend off. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think it'll be good. See? Everybody's already interested. Damon says do it. I'm waiting for Hank's reply before I close off the stream. Because this is a good idea. I will bring you out and have an Amberjack yank you overboard. Oh, what? That's right, he's the one who always posts fishing pictures. <laughs> yep. It's a fish. Okay, that's right. I mean, we could do that, but how does that have to do with water cooling? Now we're playing your game of fishing. <laughs> I'm gonna have my fish. I mean, I, like, I can fish. Is it? Do you know of any places we can go fly fishing? Because I'll, I'll, I'll be better at fly fishing than you. Argent Apparently what? Where, my uncle liked to go. where would I? Why? So I'm gonna fly down to Florida. Then we're gonna go to Argentina to go fly fishing. Fuck! I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the answer that I had. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking about Florida. Oh. Yeah. So, Hank's gotta know. I didn't hear that part. No walleye dead fish. I don't even like walleye fishing that much. I like catching trout, man. Stream fishing for trout with a with fly fishing, man. Now that's that's fishing. Now we're turning the, this stream to a turn. Yeah. Um, see, that's when you start playing 3D chess and you rig up one of those electronic singing bass to come up whenever you... Uh, <laughs> you're just like, yeah, check out what I caught. No, definitely not. But the stream definitely has taken a turn, as Calf mentioned. Yeah. You are water-cooled if you go <laughs> That is true. I guess you are water-cooling if you go in. Uh, however, if you get eaten by a shark, I don't know what you are after that, besides dinner. So, so I don't, I, I'm not so comfortable with being water cold in the ocean. Supposedly, I don't know. Who knows? Fly fish is for... What? No, Hank. Fly fishing is... Fly fishing is awesome, dude. You make your own lure. And then you go out with it, and you try to catch your own fish, and yeah, it's like, you get to treat the real like, it's like regular fishing. No, because you don't make your own lure in regular fish. Well, some people do, but a lot less do. Fly fishing, you you make it, you tie it, you tie a fly, and it's really fun, and it's more challenging because it takes finesse and patience. Neither are things so that, that Hank has. By that logic, would noodling be like the ultimate fishing since you are the lure? <laughs> 
<laughs> yep, I guess. We should go catfish noodling, Hank. That's what we've decided on. Yeah. Why? <laughs> I buy my fish, I win. <laughs> if a shark gets a hold of you, you'll end up looking quite terrible like a block after view. This is true. Thank you for keeping the stream related to water cooling. But since we are getting off topic here, Hank, you can message me more of your trumped up whatever you want, fishing stories that, that you're talking about here, and uh, we can go from there. Because <laughs> I don't believe you. So, uh, yeah, Florida. yeah, exactly. I'm gonna go to Florida. We'll try to do a new stream, and boom, all of a sudden we have PPCs, water cooling, and fishing. <laughs> but no water cooling anymore, actually, just fishing. Just fishing. Just fish fishing. Yeah, fishing. the fish are in the water. You have fun. Them while you're on the water. We could do that, but they already, but uh, NZXT did that with Bitwit, and uh, who else? Austin Evans. So? It's too late too late no. i mean it would be a lot more challenging with hank on board because i feel like he just gets in the way but um yeah, you have to, you have to carry him. <laughs> this oh, is true oh my <laughs> lord that oh, oh my yeah. a custom loop yeah. on a boat please i hope hank left and didn't hear that because if he makes me do that I'm probably just going to jump on overboard and hope I get eaten by a shark anyways. Then you'll be water cold. No, then it'll be just dinner and that's it. We've determined this. I don't know about that. But uh, if you guys have more stream ideas for when I'm down there in three weeks, aside from getting eaten by sharks or water cooling on a boat, let me know. I'm definitely open to streaming some interesting stuff. I've got some other ideas, so uh, I'll just keep you guys in the loop as as you might say in the business here so uh have a good night everybody this time it's definitely goodbye like i said oh yeah the spiral bend we could maybe try that at pbc's if jeremy helped me jeremy could help me with that that's a good idea i'll have to write that down but uh have a good night everybody uh hit me up in discord or wherever with your ideas hank you know how to dm me so you can keep talking shit and we'll go on from there <laughs> but uh, have a good night, everybody. Peace out, and see you on Thursday. Bye.